This situation in the NHL has become a pretty big problem. Over the past couple of weeks, you may have noticed there's been a few more cheap hits happening in the NHL. Now, I'm sure everybody knows if you watch hockey, these have always existed. But for some reason, with the pace of the game nowadays, I feel like some of these injuries are just getting a little bit out of hand. And if you were watching a game the other night against the Red Wings and the Senators, then you'll probably know exactly what I'm about to talk about. Now, in this game, Dylan Larkin took a cross check to the back of the head that instantly rendered him unconscious. And the aftermath of this entire situation was just so scary to watch. Now Larkin has been a great leader both on and off the ice for the Red Wings and has been having a career year. And whenever a player goes down like this, you just can't help but worry. Thankfully, everything seems to be okay for Larkin and the Red Wings have come out and said that they're placing him on IR, but I'm just wishing him a speedy and healthy recovery. You never want to see this stuff happen, especially the way that it did. And it's a good sign that Larkin managed to stand up and skate off the ice with his teammates and everyone's just wishing him a healthy recovery at this point. We're all just happy that he's okay. Aside from Larkin's scary incident, I think this just kind of plays into a bigger situation happening in the NHL. There have been some scary boarding penalties, cross checks, and other incidents that are just getting way out of hand in this league. And a perfect example of this is what happened right after the Larkin incident. David Perron, obviously upset and filled with emotion, goes over and cross checks another player on the Senators, which has cost him a six game suspension for the incident. Now, I love to see teammates stand up for other players, but cheap hits like this just aren't the answer and it doesn't come at a good time for the Red Wings. Now the Wings are in a very competitive division this season and need to keep up their good play if they want a chance at making the playoffs. And I just think the league made the right decision here. Even though this team is fighting for a playoff spot, you can't allow players to do these kinds of things even if they're just standing up for their other teammates. This cheap shot by Perron was not a good look for him and it was very brutal if you watched it during real time. Now watching this whole situation play out as a hockey fan, it's just terrible to watch. We love to see these players play with emotion, but nobody wants to see guys go down the way that Larkin did or in other incidents that we've seen this year. I think we're all trying to prioritize player safety as the number one goal here. And losing both of these guys in 24 hours just isn't ideal for a team like the Red Wings. We want to see everyone healthy and playing the game at their best. And seeing a situation like this happen because of a dirty hit, I don't think anyone gets any enjoyment out of this. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the NHL can do to try to prevent some of these cheap plays, but I want to hear what you guys think. Do you think they can improve on some of these areas or do you think that they're doing enough already let me know what you guys think in the comments below like this video and subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next one